let's try this conversion. If I have 15 centimeters, let's make that into inches. Let's try working that out on paper, and you can look up any conversions you need on that back cover. So let's work that out on paper the same way we, we did the previous unit. So let's review that method. So you found this equivalency. So that's good. This is a good equivalency between centimeters and inches. Then we write down our starting units. We write down our target units. You knew that you had to put centimeters down here to cancel. You put inches up here. Good. Now, what number should you put on the top of the fraction? What number should we put on the top of the fraction? Because the top has inches, mm -hmm. and the number that goes with inches is 0.3937. So I think you might have put that on the bottom. This is why we have to put the units in before we put the numbers in. We have to put the units in first, because until we put the units in, we don't know where the numbers go. So now we can see that the 0.3937 goes here. What number should I put on the bottom of the fraction? One, because one goes with centimeters. Okay. Uh, so that's the common mistake that we saw in the previous problem, mixing up whether we should do a division or a multiplication. So you want to do the units completely separate from the numbers. First do the units, and then the units tell you where to put in the numbers. Okay, so now we can go ahead and try to do our calculation. So you can see the big mistake to watch out for is putting the number in the wrong place. You really want to take your time with that. Um, so we used this equivalency from the book. There was another equivalency in the book between centimeters and inches. Let's, inches centimeters. Yeah, what, what's that other equivalency? Inches, is one, is one inches is equal to 2.54 centimeters. That's right. So what would happen if we used that? Well, what unit should I, uh, so what would be the conversion ratio then? What goes on top and what goes on the bottom? Uh, like 2.54, uh, it would be 1 inches divided by 
we have to put centimeters on the bottom to cancel the centimeters. How do I know that I put the 2.54 on the bottom? Because that goes with centimeters in this equivalency. And now you would be doing a division, not a multiplication. This would be 15 divided by 2.54. And that should give you the same answer either way. So you could use either of these two equivalencies. They had both of those here. Um, if you took this and you divided by 2.54, you would get this. Um, so these are uh, equivalent equivalencies. W why do people make mistakes so often here? Um, I think one mistake that people make is they put in the number one automatically. For example, I think a lot of the time when people do this, they just automatically write the number one down here. But you can't write the number one automatically. You have to look at your equivalency to see where the number one goes. And in this case, the number one doesn't go on the bottom. The number one's supposed to go on the top. So, you should, um, so we have to avoid the temptation to write the number one automatically. We should only put in the number one in the place that the equivalency says. And remember that some equivalencies don't have the number one at all. So there might be some uh, conversion ratios where you don't use the number one at all. All right.